laddies, time to review another film because happy St. Patrick's Day. Oh god damn it, the voice is hard to do. Uh, hey guys, what's up, Jake here and time to review Leprechauns. Of course, Leprechauns are devious creatures. They're very joyful watching over their gold. Of course, they're gonna make a horror movie about that when Leprechaun's evil and trying to get his gold back. Played by the great Warren Davis of the Ewoks. This leprechaun doesn't rhyme like later films in the series, which he will do, but this leprechaun tries to be serious, even though he'll pretty much laugh your ass off, darn it. Because it's in unintentionally funny, but oh well. See this thing that they're making a vile creature, even though they're not. Let's just see if they can pull it off without making me laugh. We started our movie out with the Leprechaun, played greatly by Warwick Davis. You know, the Ewok from Star Wars. Hell, they had to get Lou George's movie, sign of paper that he could even work on this movie, so... This film's connected to Star Wars, so... Isn't that nice? Then he puts a curse onto his gold. And so then we go to Daniel O'Grady, where he's destroying his mom's ashes. He got the gold, so he's pretty much screwed. Not yet, but he will be screwed. Then his wife goes to make him a nice hot tea. She doesn't believe him until she hears the leprechaun singing, and then the lep kills her by accident. Some tea brewing. Yeah, drink all the tea you like, because actually, you know, you won't be able to get much tea, so just drink it as much as you can since you're not gonna get tea that good anywhere else. Lep found him looking for his gold. And the man is a four-leaf clover, uses it against him. And he shoots him with bullets. They don't work, but he is able to knock him out, and then put the clover on the crate. You know, we'll stop him for a few seconds. So just put the four-leaf clover on him, and kill him on the spot. I mean, seriously, we wouldn't, we wouldn't have much of a movie, but you're an idiot for not killing him. I mean... Being stuck in there would suck, but... What the hell, man? But the movie doesn't stop there because he has a stroke. And then we can go ten years later with Jennifer Aniston's first film role. Jennifer Aniston is a great actress, but... This yeah. film, you can tell that she's not as good as she will be in Friends or anything like that. And she still does a good enough job, but her character is kind of annoying. She's okay. And not the best final girl ever, but... Oh, well. <laughs> She hates the Dracula house. She thinks it really sucks. But there are three guys that paint there, so she decides to stay. Three guys that paint sounds like a sitcom. You know, make that show, that'd be fun. So then we meet a kid trying to cosplay as Ness and Ozzy, the dumbass. And Jennifer Anderson gets dared to open Lep's crate. But before she can, Ozzy screams and he gets blue all over him so he can knock four leaf clover out down there. And we can see the left for the first time. Not completely on screen. And he's kind of still in the shadows. But he says he will bite Ozzy's very ear off. But he's not powerful yet. He got away because big powers are weak. I need big gold. Damn, he's a lot of power without his gold. How much power does he have when he has his gold? Jesus Christ. So he screams, seeing a leprechaun. But they just find a rat. So Ozzy can go to the end of the rainbow, there actually is gold there, and the dumbass swallows a gold coin. Swall biting gold does not work that way. You don't swallow it! I and mean, you can bite it, sure, but there's no chocolate inside. He also believes that the doctor's gonna fix his brain. The leprechaun touches Jennifer Aniston's leg, caressing it. I don't judge. Jennifer Aniston does have some good legs. She thinks it was a man, but it was just a cat. And that cat has a hell of a bite. Son of a bitch, it actually looks like it hurt. Sad part is you won't even see him for the rest of the movie. They have like one scene that they talk about and that's it. He's nowhere to be seen in the rest of the movie. So the leprechaun follows them on a trike. They see if the gold's real or not, and the guy tries to put some gold in the safe, but something keeps distracting him until we truly see the lep for the first time, and he shows off his pogo skills. You can win some gold medals in pogo sticking, then you'd have more gold put in your little basket in the leprechaun too. 
poor guy is dead, even though he didn't have anything to do with the gold, with some cool word effects. But I'm not complaining. So then we go to this cafe where Jennifer Aniston is. Oh. That doesn't matter. Let's get to a kill. Pulls the lep out of his car and asks him his age. Second leprechaun series older than you, bitch. He chases him into the woods to screw with him by teleporting, and when it looks like it's safe, he's really not safe. That's lame. I mean, the beginning of the kill was awesome with him chasing him and just screwing with him, but the kill, it's kind of crappy. Plus, what he does with the body later is cool, but the kill just isn't that good. Jennifer, don't eat meat. But she does wear cow shoes, and they finally get their lepkin and look around the house looking for some lucky clovers. Originally yeah. filmed for CP13, but they took it up a notch with R, which I can say that's good since I prefer a rated R movie to a PG13 movie. Well, with horror at least. So. I can at least respect that, but they weren't able to get the right to use the Lucky Charm, so they went with a knockoff. Which it kind of sucks, but oh well, it's still funny. So then, when they get to home, a bear has shined all their shoes and eaten their clovers. Jennifer tries to get out, but she's too much of a pussy. So she goes to clean up, and Ozzy found a bell, but the second bell isn't his. Wait, so the leprechaun went back for his bike? So he went there, went back for his bike, and then came back? Or, or did he teleport there? If he teleported there, why'd he go with a bike? So then they gotta investigate, and he gets caught in a bear trap. Oh, this is my second favorite line in the movie. I don't know why, but it just did. Let's play. Uh, no, no. Ozzy calls the cop to the Goonies ripoff, kind of, so they can finally get the lep away with a no duh line. No fucking no duh! They try to get out of the car, but it doesn't work because there's a fucking leprechaun in there. Yeah, I'd rather have a leprechaun in my car than a gremlin. That shit is not good to have in your car. They will really fuck it up more than a leprechaun. The lep gets in biting his ear so he can burn. And then he can get a car so he can get screwed over by Mario Kart. Now he plays with power. We all fall down. Power doesn't help him. He gets his hand cut off under the door. But the hand opens up for him, so Jennifer Anderson can call the cops. Again, for them to call the dead cop, and so now they're screwed. So then they tell them where the gold is, and Jenny can go find him and learn what the hell it is. Leprechaun, me dear. It looks like me gold. <laughs> it smells like me gold. <laughs> but he only has 99 coins. He's been swindled. And then the lep attacks. Burn his hand with a cool line. Quick, okay now, kids. <laughs> then screws with them for fun with the sequence of cabins and him grabbing his dick. So then he goes down the chimney, but it ain't Santa Claus, so a gunshot will not stop him, and neither will shooting him on a skateboard. And then they get a phone call from Having problems? Do you need a hand? <laughs> He just stole from a nightmare on the street. Here's the better scene that's a lot better than this crap. Turns out the Lep wants Ozzy's stomach. So they use the shoes to go out and confuse the Lep. His weakness is shoes. Shoes. That's so much better than kryptonite, isn't it? So she gets to the top and the Lep is actually the person in the wheelchair. So, he can chase him, but O'Grady falls down the elevator, so tell him the weakness of the four-leaf clover. She looks for one, but good girls don't look for four-leaf clovers. So she finds a cop and stabs the lep's eye for an eye for an eye. Someone is there to help. 
so they can find the four leaf clover. But look at the Irish. But the left is after Ness Kid. So then Ozzy helps him, getting slashed a bunch of times for the coolest line in the movie. Lucky charms. Line technically should be Fuck you, lucky clovers. The leprechaun is dead. Well, this one. And there he is, five sequels. And whatever the hell leprechaun origin is. Is it good? I wouldn't call it good, but it isn't bad. I mean, it's a movie that's so bad that it's good. And I mean that in a good way. I mean, they tried to make it horror, but it didn't work out. It just made me laugh. Um, definitely it's a movie that's so bad that it's good, but it's not so bad. I mean, it's pretty good. The gore effects are really good, actually, surprisingly. And the Leprechaun is fun. Some of the acting is iffy, but none of it is horrible acting. So at least I can't give it flack for that, and it's not too bad. I mean, some characters I don't care about, but they're not bad. And Ozzy's okay. Plus the Nest Kid, I don't, I don't even give a shit about, but he does show it's definitely a 90s movie. So I give Leprechaun... I guess a 3 out of 5. It's not bad enough to get a 2. It's definitely a well-known movie. I hope you guys have a happy St. Patrick's Day. And next week we'll actually be coming back to the Leprechaun series with Leprechaun 2, since my DVD comes in a pack, and they're both on the same disc, so I might as well just do the second one, too. Oh,